Hi guys, this is Al from elbowpepper.com and today I want to show you something that you can put in with your compost uh, to help to boost the heat that's generated, especially if you're trying to do a hot composting method, such as I like to do with my Geroform tumbling unit. I specifically am using this so that I can put in things that are weed-based, seeds that are from weeds and diseased clippings from the garden, things that I want to put in my vermicomposting setup because that doesn't generate the heat that can really kill weed seeds, that can kill diseases that have accumulated in your garden plants. But instead, by doing a hot composting method, you can achieve temperatures that sterilize those pathogens and those weed seeds to a very large percentage, large degree, so that you can have like a nice, healthy compost that um, utilizes organic matter that you might have thrown away into the trash otherwise. But of course, as you're trying to use everything on your site, you may find that you're kind of coming in high on the carbon to nitrogen ratio, where you have a little bit more carbon than what you want to have for an ideal composting cycle. And that can cause the temperatures to start to go down. So without enough nitrogen, the temperatures drop, you're not going to be able to build up the heat that you really want to have. You are probably wanting to shoot for around 130 degrees all the way up to 160, but you should really try to get to at least 130, I think, is a good temperature to try to get to when you're trying to do this type of composting. So, what can you add that can kind of help? There are different nitrogen sources out there, but if you're looking at something that's readily available, that is easy to use, and that's going to help to just boost those levels a little bit. Well, what you want are coffee grinds. If you do some research, you'll find that the ideal carbon to nitrogen ratio of your composting pile should be between 25 to 30 of carbon units to a single nitrogen unit. Coffee grinds are somewhere around 20 to one nitrogen unit. So you definitely have a higher percentage of nitrogen which can help to boost those levels. If maybe you have a little bit too much sawdust or you've been using corn husks that were shredded up and put in here, well, this can help to balance it out to help you to get the heat that you're trying to get with your pile. So coffee grinds, well, Maybe you drink coffee every day, you might get a little handful of coffee grinds. I have this massive bag here that I got in one day. A co-worker of mine went to a Starbucks, and you can get these a lot of times at places for free. That's right, you don't have to spend anything, and you can just come out with a big pile that you can add to whatever it is that you have going on as far as your composting pile, whatever type of unit you may be using, or if you just have a big pile, but you can easily get a lot if you know where to look without spending anything and that can really help to boost the levels. A few days ago I took a temperature using my compost thermometer and I was coming in somewhere between 80 to maybe 90 degrees. But if I check it now, after adding some coffee grinds, I'm already up to 120, which this is going to drop really fast, but you might be able to see it before it starts to drop down. As soon as I take it out of the pile, the temperature is going down on the gauge. But I'm actually at 120 degrees, and all I added was some extra coffee grinds to the pile. And I'm getting ready to put some more in, in fact. So I'm going to do that right now. But that's a great thing for you to use if you put your hand in and you're not really feeling the heat that you're hoping to find. Put some coffee grinds in, mix it up. Check back in a couple days, and you know what, if you want, put some more in. Um, obviously, you don't want to have 100% coffee grinds in your compost pile, but I'm not saying that you should. I have a lot of stuff in here. This thing's pretty heavy just in the one chamber right now. But uh, I think this is going to help to balance it out, and what I'm really shooting for, like I said, 130 degrees Fahrenheit. If you can get that, then you're going to be killing a lot of stuff, the bad stuff that you don't really want in your finished compost. So anyways, 
I hope that this gave you a quick tip that can help you out if you're trying to use a tumbling compost unit. Um, that's a good additive to put in there, rich in nutrients and a good source of nitrogen. Thanks for checking out this video.